Welcome back everyone to a very quick Frostborn everything you need to know about the Frostborn Holiday 2020 event. Now I know a little bit of this update has already been out there in the public knowledge for a little bit, but there is a ton of stuff that the leakers did miss. So in this video we're going to go over all of that stuff and a little bit more about the new zones and all of that cool stuff. So let's get started. Top 10 emergency awesome breakdown style video. Bringing that over from the LDOE breakdown style videos. We're doing it here this time, so let's see how that all goes. Also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It's free. I'm trying to hit 25k by the end of this year. Is it possible? Probably not, but hey, you might as well try, right? Join my Discord too. Frostborn discussion, all of that is going on over there. Code is on the screen. Do that. With that out of the way, here's everything you need to know about the Frostborn holidays in 2020. Starting at number 10, we have the sale. I'm sure this is first and foremost the most obvious thing that people noticed. Now, the sale is actually really, really good, especially if you're buying a metal room. That's like 75, 80% off. But right here on the screen, I'm just going to flash a quick compilation of everything that is on sale right now. There's a ton of stuff, even these books, which really surprised me. And you'll, you'll see that in the clip. So let's just play the clip. The next thing they did, which I'm sure was also fairly obvious, they increased storage. Well, backpack storage, but also a secret storage, which you may not have seen yet. We'll go into that in a quick moment. So backpack storage, your inventory has been increased by five, so now you have the capacity of basically a small chest with a backpack off, which is pretty cool. Now you have a lot more inventory. Backpacks are that much more important. And look at that. With a purple backpack, you can barely scroll. Well, you have to scroll. That's interesting. And then the secret place where nobody noticed, we have right there in the vault. You can upgrade your vault for coins. Now, I'm sure this one's going to be somewhat controversial, but hey, at least we can protect our items now a lot better. Number three, one that people missed. There are less chests at Odin's, but the loot is quote-unquote better. Now, on the first floor, I really didn't see too many different chests missing, but when I did open the chests, that is definitely better. I do not remember these chests being this good, and that's because that is a secret new change that the loot has been buffed. Number four, dirty copper. So from a few specific zones, you can get dirty copper. And basically what the dirty copper is, is in order to use it to smelt normal copper, you'll need to clean it off first. Now, originally I thought this was a bad thing, but it's actually much more accessible to get this dirty copper. So in reality, it is a good thing that this has come to the game. Number five, maple saplings. In zones, we can find saplings for maple trees and then grow them at our base with this particular item. Now, this is actually quite interesting because if you're a player who just hates fighting in zones, this is an easy way to get maple. Just get the sapling and then you can chop down the tree and possibly rinse and repeat. I haven't really tested that, but I'm assuming that's what you can do. This is an easy way to get maple. I'm sure if you just leave it at your base, I'm not sure, maybe, just maybe, if I'm raiding somebody, I might be able to see their maple tree and chop it down because honestly, some of these bases do not have any loot. So I'm going to get away with just the maple. Would be bad. Now, number six, the part which I'm sure everyone has seen by now, the new events. These have replaced both green PvP zones. So the former wood and stone zones are now gone and they've been replaced with these two new events. Number seven, let's start with the one at the top. This one has the loot on the top area. There's no like underground area per se. And it's basically an all out brawl for the loot. After a specific period of time, the chest at the middle will be unlocked and people can then fight over that loot. Now I anticipate this is where PVP is gonna go and it's gonna be all out chaos. Fortunately, there weren't any people around when I was around. Otherwise, that would have been pretty bad. This armor's pretty bad. There's a lot of grass in this area too, so definitely going to be a team kind of area. And if you look, aggressive mode is always on, so no way of getting around it. You're going to fight. And then the next event, the loot is actually below. There are a bunch of fire traps, well, those fire parkour-like thingies, at the forge, and they're all here. So on the four corners of the map, there are entrances. You can decide to pick any which one. You'll see I go into two different ones, and they pretty much lead to the exact same spot. At a very specific time when the loot is available, you're going to want to be down there and at the center of the map. Then you're going to grab the center loot. It's actually really, really good. Check out what I got right there. And then you're going to want to escape with that. So you're probably going to want to know Frostborn quote-unquote parkour as you try to navigate your way through these kind of like fire-like areas, which should be interesting, but 
definitely something I struggle with, so I don't anticipate that. And then once you even get out of there, you're going to have to make it to the top out of those little like underground tombs and exit the zone. So it'll definitely be another PvP area, another place to get good loot. It's basically the equivalent of probably a little bit better than just a gold cache, or maybe just, just like a gold cache kind of. Number nine, the 30 day inbox cooldown. Bringing this change right over from LDOE, there is a 30 day cooldown on items in your inbox. So now if you, let's say auto farm a zone, you're going to have 30 days to stash or take out those items from your inbox. And I assume this is in, or probably to reduce server lag, but what it also does is it takes some, it definitely puts a lot more items into the pool of items per se, because now you can't just secretly hide items in your bag. You're gonna actually have to take them out, hide them at your base, put them somewhere. Granted, you can't increase your vault now, but still. And then number 10, just some casual bug fixes. So right there, we have the most obvious and annoying one, the tomb one, you can't get out of the loot caches. And then they increased the shield thing, which should definitely help players who are fighting in zones. Anyways, this has been an interesting video to make. I don't know, maybe I'll do more of these kinds of videos. We'll see. Anyways, interested to hear what you all have to say about this update. So tell me all that down below in the comments and on my Discord. The code is on the screen. Consider subscribing. And with that all out of the way, ZD out.